Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all having a good day today, as per usual. And today, I figured we would talk about six particular myths that I would like to, I wouldn't say debunk or, yeah, debunk. That's maybe the right word after all, but to try to expose or to elaborate on some of the myths that people often talk about and often believe. And this is not only for Swedish, this is not only for one particular set of language, but I guess on a universal scale, I'm going to talk about those myths. And I would probably start off with saying that a lot of people talk about the fact that if you're bilingual, you are somewhat smarter or it makes you smarter or dumber for that matter. It doesn't really have to be just for smarter. And this is actually false. But I have to say that it's also beneficial for a lot of people who speak more than one language. And it certainly helps you along the way in your life when you speak more than one language because as you all know common sense we are more global these days we have a lot of interconnections with people all around the globe and if you know more than one language it's going to certainly help you progress in your career in your personal life in your hobbies in your other further endeavors and so on and so forth so it certainly it's beneficial, but it doesn't make you smarter or dumber if you're bilingual. I am bilingual or tri trilingual, actually. So I wouldn't say that, you know, I have a higher IQ because I speak more language or I was born with more languages from the get go. Myth number two that we would like to debunk today is the fact that adults cannot learn a new language. And this is something what I've heard many times throughout my life i would say which is that well it becomes you know much more difficult to learn a language as an adult and what what do you mean by adult by adult is usually meant after 18 or usually later on people often refer to adult life you know maybe around between 25 to 40 or something like that or even later basically the older you get the harder it becomes that is not necessarily true but there's also some some inch or some ounce of truth in that as well, which is that, yes, it becomes harder to learn a language as you grow older, because if you don't keep your mind sharp, if you don't continue, if you don't continuously learn in life in general, it doesn't have to be just language. It could also just be other subjects of your interest or yeah, things that you want to learn. If you don't pursue those interests, if you don't pursue those academic skills or yeah interest then it becomes harder because then your mind is a bit more out of shape it's the same thing if you were to do sports if you don't do sports for a long time it's going to be very difficult for you to learn so for that being said it is inherently false this myth that adults cannot learn a new language and but there is a critical time period so the best time to learn a language or basically the most efficient time that you can learn or that you can maximize learning languages in your teen years or basically in your early years of your childhood so i would say between you know when you're six seven eight nine up until you're maybe 16 17 something of that sort this is kind of the best time window to learn and do a new language quickly and efficiently as much as possible but yeah that is not exclusive just to teens that is for everyone you can learn at any age and time myth number three i think this is more of a hilarious one and uh, this is a myth that i found on some internet i have to remember where i found that and i'll cite the source in the link in the description down below and it says that french is the most beautiful language well i think we can all have a good laugh here and uh agree or disagree and we can argue in the comment section please feel free to argue which language is the most beautiful language um, in your opinion but i think you know I, I, I guess the reason why this myth even exists is because of all the hollywood movies and all the literature and all of these you know kind of stories that kind of arouse or arise in in our society in our culture you know and French has been always portrayed as the language of love, language of romance, and people kind of bought into that idea that French is a very beautiful language. And 
I guess for some people it is a beautiful language that sounds very beautiful but if you maybe know my history my background French is not exactly my favorite language and not my best friend to that degree so I have to agree with that myth or I have to agree with the fact of that myth that French is not the most beautiful language and I'm not gonna name any beautiful languages here I mean this is very subjective and uh, yeah, just wanted to get that out of, out of the way and maybe put in a little laughter as well. Myth number four is also another laughing myth, I would say, and it's the fact that, or the fact, the myth that women talk more than men. And, you know, it's very difficult to actually even make a study of it because there is no such study that says or that claims that women speak more than men, talk more than men. And yeah, you know, I might have heard or you might have heard that women talk twice as much as men per day. So I think it was like, I don't know, there was like a, apparently there was some kind of study, which honestly, I don't think is a credible study to even begin with, where women talk 30,000 words per day and men talk 15,000 words per day. So that's double of that. So they, so women speak twice as much as men. And there, like I said, there is no really you know factual study or any credible sources or anything of that source that would claim that women speak more than men and you know if you actually want to go deeper down that route then actually you know you can say that men also talk a lot because if if you talk about politics if you talk about the economy and you know things that men like to talk about usually at a at a beer table you know in the pub in the evening then you know believe me a man can also talk a lot and men also gossip in some cases and just like women and so you know it's it's in my opinion it is actually a real it's it's it's, it's just a myth and i think you know it really depends on the person you know some people like to talk more some people like to talk less and i don't think it's more of a gender type of thing but if you want to argue even further in a biological sense then because women in the past or women biologically cannot really fight physically so they have to fight verbally and so maybe that's why this kind of myth came around that women you know can stab you in the back verbally and women can you know counter you in the verbal aikido manner and stuff like that so you know this is how it maybe came to be this kind of myth but like i said there's no credible source in that sense so the myth number five is actually that you have to first reach a certain level of proficiency before speaking. And this is actually something what I've talked about in the past when I was making Swedish videos about you know how you should just go straight into it and how you should just start speaking the language no matter what your proficiency level might be. And this is a false myth. So you're not supposed to or if not supposed to like you don't have to first wait up until a certain degree of proficiency in, in that language that you're learning in order to start opening your mouth and start talking i believe you can start talking right away you don't have to wait for some kind of you know revelation or some kind of magic to happen and this is something what oftentimes we are maybe taught in school in college in university or just in general passed down from generation to generation knowledge that you have to first learn the vocabulary you have to first learn the grammar and rules and all of that you have to complete all the textbooks that you were given to that you were assigned to and after that you can start talking that is actually that's just the most reverse advice i could ever give you which is not true and you know for me personally, as I did with my previous video, my, my first attempt at speaking Swedish, this is exactly what I want to kind of give you guys. I want to kind of pass this idea on to you, which is that you should just start talking, you know, with whatever knowledge you have, with whatever you can do or say or whatever, basically just start speaking straight away. And yeah, this is basically... Uh, myths that a lot of people believe in and should be kind of addressed already by now hopefully and the last myth that i would like to debunk quote unquote is the fact or not the fact but the idea that a few months is enough to become fluent in a language in a new language and i think this is a very obvious case a very obvious fact 
that you cannot learn a language in a few months. Maybe, you know, there are exceptions where you can learn a language if you really need to learn a language for some exam or for some, like if you're moving to a new country and you already need to pass some whatever tests or, you know, citizenship exams or whatever the hell may be. And if you really every day you just all you do is just exclude all of the languages that you speak in already and you just speak that language that you're learning so for example if i were to move to sweden in a few months and i and i had to you know already be at a at a c1 level or at a b2 level and then yeah i would really like try to exclude all the languages i'm talking and just focus on swedish read swedish speak swedish write swedish listen to swedish stuff every single day 24 7 maybe in a few months let's say four to five or maybe half a year i would maybe become very fluent in that but that's like with really full out passion and you know focus and concentration and nothing else other than swedish then yes you can do that but if you're you know if you also work if you have hobbies if you have other things going on in your life you're not gonna become proficient in that language in a few months. It's gonna take at least maybe a year or, or, or two if you're you know consistent every day. And by consistent, I mean like if you spend 30 to 60 minutes a day or maybe a little bit more or depending on what you have going on in your life. If you try to insert that Swedish or that language that you're learning in every day a little bit, then yes, you can become proficient in about a year or two. But other than that, and of course, it depends on the language you're learning. If it's a very easy language or if it's a more difficult language, if it's Chinese or if it's Swedish, then it's obviously a big difference. And it also depends on where you where you come from. So, you know, there's many factors to consider. But yeah, so this is a myth that I also wanted to address, so to speak. So, yeah, I think overall there are more myths that I could probably d talk or discuss about, but I think some of the myths that I saw on the internet are not really that interesting or are already pretty obvious. And I guess the the myths that I that I talked about were a little bit more, I would say, less obvious and less you know talked about or myths that are still heavily believed in to some degree. And I hope you guys understand those myths, or I hope you guys already know those myths and. Maybe you can pass it on to your friends and colleagues about that, talk about your language and and so on and so forth. And I'm also very curious to know what your view on, on that is, what your view on those myths are, or maybe you know some more myths that you know you could share in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video and I hope you have a great day.